Hi, welcome uh, internet viewers for another episode of Days of Adventures in Cooking. I have a new guest camera person this week, my very own the sister Cora. So uh, we're going to make chili con Cora today. <laughs> Got our basic chili ingredients here, and some nice tomatoes, a bit of corn, some beans, gotta have beans for chili. Are those dry beans? Um, yeah, they're just red chili beans. Okay. Special, got some red onions, uh, a bunch of spices, including chili powder, which was kind enough to provide for me. I'm helpful. So, uh, let's get started. <laughs> that reminds me, I have a special gift for you after we're done with it, so. Oh, cool. That's exciting. I get a present. Yeah. So, I guess, uh, we're going to, uh, According to the instructions, we have to sort of boil the beans before we uh, boil the rest of it. So I'm going to get some of these official chili beans in a separate pot here, which is to do. And now, uh, we're going to uh, put the other ingredients in the second pot. So, I've got my nice tomatoes. And a few pre-cooked beans because I didn't realize that the beans I bought needed some extra time to cook. So, what do you like best about chili, Cora? Um, I don't know. I, I like that it's a very hearty filling stew. Um, it's good comfort food. That's the kind of thing I like. Do you make similar dishes a lot of them? Um, I make um. A lot of my standards are well, spaghetti, of course, as our, our father loves spaghetti, and uh, he frequently has spaghetti for all his meals. I think it's really the only meal Dad ever really made us growing <laughs> up, now that I think about it. You know what? We're going to make another special sometime. Of spaghetti? Yeah. Just spaghetti. Cool. Yeah, I good. would be down for that. But yes, I frequently make spaghetti. Um, mac and cheese. I make a really good cheese sauce that I'm very proud of. Um, I make a really good tin chowder which now we're moving into warmer weather, so I'm hoping to get at least one more rainy day so it feels appropriate to make clam chowder because I've had all the ingredients in my, my apartment. Um, yeah, so I really like comfort food. I, that's the kind of thing I do. Um, I like, like to make meatloaf, mashed potatoes as well. Uh, Nina has joked with me that my meals are very like 1950s housewife because they're just very much like meat, potatoes, and yeah. some kind of vegetable, so. Oh, good. That, that's going to give me some ideas myself for future episodes mm -hmm. for me. Okay, well, I think this is just going to take a while, so we're going to take a break from filming and come back when it's a little more bubbly. All right. <laughs> Love that. Anyway, uh, we've got our chili cooking here. I'm um, just going to add some spices now. Garlic? Yes or no? Yes, I love garlic. Whoa. Is it garlic powder? Yeah. That's gonna be very strong. That's why we'll balance it out with other spices. Oh goodness, I don't know if you know what balance means. <laughs> it's a chili powder. Definitely not pouring a whole bunch in there. A little bit of cumin, because that's kind of what I do with every dish on here. cheese curds now or? No, they'll get too yeah, melty and they'll know. burn at the bottom of the pan. Yeah. So, do that right at the end. Okay, we're going to continue to cook this and uh, come back in a few minutes. Alright. So, turns out when you buy dry chili beans from a uh, bulk food store, you got to cook them for a long time before they're ready to be added to a meal. So, 
Uh, I'm always lucky I had some uh, pre-cooked beans. They're already in my uh, chili, so pre-cooked some meatballs too. We're going to add those in now. We like meat. Yes, we do. And what do you think? Uh, do you think it's uh, just about ready? Just need to minute or two more? I'll let's take a look. Yeah, you take a look. Okay. You're not afraid to be on camera, are you? Let's see. Mm, I'd say a little bit. I, I think that the meatball should like simmer in there so we get more meaty flavor. More meaty flavor is always good. We're gonna cook it with meat for another couple minutes. Should we zoom in on it so that they can see? Yes. Okay. That's our chili. Those are the sad dry beans. <laughs> Well, the nature of this entire show is experiment, right? So That's true. That's something I learned today. So this would be a failed experiment. Sort of. Sort of. This could still be excellent, so we will have to see. So David, what are we doing right now? Uh, well, I'm just, because these beans have been cooking for a little bit now, I just want to see how, if they're cooked at all. <laughs> just going to try a few. Let's see his reaction. Yeah, they're a little bit crunchy. <laughs> Guess they need more time. Crunchy. Forget it. This is how you make wet, crunchy beans. Yeah. Delicious. Probably not what I was going for today. But if you're in the market to make wet, crunchy beans. That's another thing you can do. <laughs> you think we should add some onion to the... Uh... Oh yes, I love onion. Okay. All the onion. Oh, you get good. You get red onion. I really like red onion. I like it for the color. Glad you're filming, because I'm going to tear up now. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sensitive to onions, too. Maybe it's a genetic thing. I guess one thing we're missing is ogres, right? Ah, uh, ogres have layers. Are you killing me? No, ogres are just like onions, that's all. Do ogres taste like onions? Probably a little bit. Mm. Although, I don't really want to go find an ogre and try it. Neither would I. Can you imagine just walking up the truck, licking the side of his face? What are you doing, donkey? It's a pretty good impression. <laughs> The light turned off. It does that. Oh, it does. Old stove. Okay. What? No, I didn't say. I didn't mean on the stove. I meant on the camera. Turned off for a second. I think it's uh, sort of light sensitive. Camera. Oh. Just try okay. to decide when to put the light on or off. Well then. Yeah, I use onion in almost everything I cook. Lots of beans for future recipes. That's true. One time Nina tried to make um, red bean ice cream. You know how they have, it's a very common uh, Asian flavor for ice cream. Mm -hmm. But she just used, I think she just used kidney beans. And it is not, it's not kidney beans, it's red beans. But she insisted it was just any red bean. So see, you're getting lots of tips on how to cook and how not to cook. Yeah, it just tasted like beans and ice cream. It was really bad. And she didn't want to waste the food, so she insisted on eating it. And mm -hmm. It was not good for anyone at all. Good story, Cora. Oh, thank you. I'm sure Nina will appreciate it. Maybe she won't watch this episode. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of Nina, maybe we should make a plug for it. No, that's okay, for a later show. The book. 
Oh, yes. Well, if anyone knows of a show called Orphan Black, uh, Orphan Black is a show about cloning. Um, and my love fiance is a scientist, so she ex- goes into the science of Orphan Black, and she's writing the official BBC America companion book, uh, science companion to um, Orphan Black, and explains all the science that they go into, not just cloning, um, but some her- inherited diseases. Um, uh, they don't go into the ethics of it. They are pure scientists in this respect, so they are much more representative of dyad in this series than anything. Although they aren't evil. I would I would not say that they're evil. They're just explaining the science behind it, so. Man, it's weird to talk about Orphan Black while looking at this chili. I don't know, it's strange. I'm not even looking at a person. I talked about a whole bunch of weird stuff when I cooked with Paul, so. Okay. Yeah, I watched that episode. Yeah. Weird Shout out to Paul. Hi, Paul. Yep. Chefs, clean as they go. This is what I hear. I don't understand how people can do that often. Unless you have something boiling for a very long time, I leave all my mess till the end. Uh, or, you know, I, I don't... I I'm really only picking about this particular knife because it's my favorite knife. Mm-hmm. I have favorite knives, too, to the point where it gets so dull you can't use it anymore. But if you look at the sink, and don't look at the sink. Oh, don't look at the sink. <laughs> don't look at the sink. Look anywhere but the sink. I'm just saying, if you look at the sink right now, it's full of dishes that I have to get to, so... You never looked at the sink. What are you talking about? You're looking at the stove because we're cooking. We should maybe uh, heat up these noodles now. Sure, I think I'm gonna try them actually without first, and then I'll see if I want noodles. Okay. I'll just put them away. Bye bye, noodles. You wanna do a noodles episode one day? Uh, yes, I love noodles. What does it mean camera panning is too fast? Exactly what it says on the tin. Does that mean it was not recording? It probably means it'll come out blurry. Oh. Ooh, I'm gonna make people busy. Okay, I'll stop recording now. Yeah. Where's the button? There's the button. It looks really hot. Here's the first taste test of the chili. It tastes mostly like the beans more than anything else, like the the flavored beans that you put in. Really, I'm surprised at that. Yeah, like it's like beans and then aftertaste of tomato and then corn that I bit into because you're biting the corn. Yeah. I think it just needs to boil more because for chili you really need to blend the fake flavors. Yeah. So we're being impatient. We just want to eat the food. Well, we're just capturing every step of the process. I started, okay, maybe I just got a lot of beans in that first taste. The second taste tastes more like chili. A very beany chili. But chili has beans. I'm not making sense. That's good. This is. It tastes like chili and just tastes like very beany chili. Because, like, like, the beans you used are the. Um, molasses beans. Molasses beans. So it's a sweeter chili than you would normally anticipate. I think we should add more chili powder. Okay. But I don't know about you. Learn it as we go. Yeah. So this is the second taste after adding two heaping teaspoons of uh, of chili powder to make it taste more like chili. Let's we'll see. It tastes much more like chili now. Yay. It's good. Say action or something. Action. Or something. Or some <laughs> action or something. <laughs> so now we're gonna add our final touch to the chili concora today. Cheese curds. We love cheese. Nice. I think that'll be good to start. So thanks for being with us, uh, internet viewers, for another episode of Dave's Adventures in Cooking. Thanks to my special guest, camera person, Cora. You're welcome. You're so welcome. And uh, now we're going to eat it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back with another episode of Dave's Adventures in Cooking next week. All right. Bye, everyone.